My name is Randy Lush and I'm a tunnel boring machine operator. A tunnel boring machine is a piece of equipment that I operate that cuts a hole through the ground, which we erect a tunnel behind. It's used to carve out various types of soil, rock, soft ground. We'll carve out the ground to build subways, uh, sewer, water mains, uh, utility tunnels. TBM works, it's powered by electricity over hydraulics. So basically you're feeding electric motors, which in turn run hydraulic pumps, which basically turns the cutter head and operates various components on the machine. So I started out with McNally when I was about 20 years old as a general laborer. Was five years into that, um, they offered me a position to operate the tunnel boring machine, and I accepted. Um, trained on the job, and uh, just went from there. So I trained from another operator, basically on the job training. Um, they have operators that were currently working, and they bring younger people up. So they always hire within typically, right? If you're working for a company, they're gonna promote within. They're not gonna go outsourcing guys, right? They're gonna, if you start off with somebody, they're gonna find people that are working with them and promote those guys. So the skills that make a good operator are basically the ability to learn, to listen, to cooperate. It's a team environment. You gotta get along with everybody. You're in a tunnel, so it's, you know, it's very cramped quarters sometimes, depending on the size of the tunnel. But yeah, I would say, you know, it's just all around. Daily tasks as an operator would be go downstairs with the crew. I'd be the lead guy on the crew because I'm actually operating the equipment. Um, make sure the machine is safe to operate. Everyone's got their safety gear with them. And we have uh, gas monitors with us. The wire, the air, atmosphere, everything is, there's no gas. Uh, ventilation is good. And uh, yeah, we're up and running and we're mining. This machine mined out um, a sewer tunnel. It was a three meter cut and the finished diameter is probably gonna be maybe 2.6 meters. Now in length, you're looking at 11 kilometers of tunnel here at a three meter cut, and it's, we've been here for five years already. For salary expectations, like I said, I started out as a general laborer. Um, I probably made my first year $80,000. That's basically an eight hour shift. Most companies will give a little bit of a premium on top of that, because you're staying downstairs typically for your breaks and your lunches. So you'll probably get a free hour's pay on top of that at time and a half. Um, and moving up the ladder, once you, if you do progress to an operator or some other you know, job on the project, your, your pay will increase based on your job position. So I mean, as an operator, I made in excess of $120,000 because it's hourly based. So I mean, the more hours you're gonna put in, the more money you're gonna make. But I would say, as an average, guys are pulling in 100,000 gross. This machine is very sophisticated. It might look like a big chunk of steel, but inside of that is a, is a brain. And you know, it's called the HMI, it's a human machine interface. So you're gonna basically input data into that machine. It's gonna do what you tell it. So I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of back and forth when it comes to hands-on versus the technology and a combination of, of both basically to make, to make a successful operator at the end of the day. But I mean, it's, it's very hands-on still, even though the technology's there, but you really have to learn what the machine is capable of doing. And like I said, it's, it's on the job training. You're not gonna sit in the seat and operate the machine overnight. It takes years and years of practice to get good at it, like, like it would anything.